Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our channel. If you are new to this channel, subscribe to our channel. Well, now in this video, I am going to share you how to reset this Sony WFC 500 TWC earbud. So, if you face any connection related issue on Sony WFC 500 earbud, means by resetting the earbuds, your problem will be sorted out. And then in this Sony WFC 500 earbud, there is a two types of resetting one is the resetting only earbud, and the next method is that full factory reset. So, in this video, we are going to see both both method of resetting process before that if you already connected the sony wfc 500 means just to go to the bluetooth settings and uh, you need to unpair the earbuds from your bluetooth pad list so once you unpair and after that just to place both earbuds into the charging case and wait for a few seconds now firstly we are going to see the method one so in the method one is that resetting only the earbuds so for resetting only the earbuds you should do the reset process one by one for the left and right earbuds firstly i am going to take the left earbuds so now in the left earbud in the multifunction button you need to press and hold for 20 seconds i am going to do now one two three four five six seven eight 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so after 15th second you can able to see yellow light or orange light blinks on earbuds and even though you have to continuously press and hold and finally you can able to see a blue light blinks on the earbuds after that only you want to release the finger from the earbuds multifunction button so now we reset the left earbud similarly you need to do the process on the right earbud as well so in the right earbud also you need to press and hold for 20 seconds on the 15th second you can able to see a orange light blink on the earbuds and you need to continuously press and hold after orange light you, you can able to see a blue light blinks randomly after that release the present holding function so now this is the first method of reset process once once you've done the earbuds only reset process after that again uh, pair the earbuds with the smartphone so this time if any connection related issue means that will be sorted out if suppose the uh, connection related issue like you only you can able to hear the left or right earbud you can't able to hear the audio in both the earbud so then we are going to see the next method so this method is that complete uh, factory reset settings so for this you need to just take both the earbuds from the case and make sure both charging keys and earbuds have an enough battery so firstly i tell the process of the factory reset settings so you need to just take both the earbuds in both the earbuds multifunction button you have to press and hold for 15 seconds after 15th second you can able to see the orange light blinks on both earbuds so at that condition uh, you need to release the finger from the multifunction button and once you release the finger from multifunction button so now the orange light stays in the earbuds itself and at that time again you need to press and hold for few seconds then finally you can able to see blue light blinks uh, randomly on both the earbuds so finally once you get the blue light blinks on both the earbuds then the reset process has been completed now i'm going to do the factory reset on this sony wfc 500 earbuds firstly press and hold for 15 second continuously so i'm going to do now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 14 15 so uh, now you can able to see orange light blinks just leave it and you can see orange light stays again press and hold for a few seconds so now you can see the blue light blinks randomly on both the earbuds now this is a confirmation for the successful factory reset settings on sony wfc 500 earbuds once completed the factory reset settings again place the earbuds into the case and wait for a few seconds and again take it from the case now it now the earbuds are automatically turned on and now in your android smartphone and this sony wfc 500 comes with the google phosphorus so if you have any android smartphone nearby means you can able to see a window like this you need to just click on the connect option so once you click on the connect then the earbuds will be automatically get connected with your bluetooth so as you seen here here is a sony wfc 500 has been connected suppose you will not get that uh, uh, google phosphor window means then you need to just take your android smartphone and go to the settings and here go to the option google and uh, once click on here 
now here you need to select on the devices and sharing so if you are using the latest android version means now under once you enter the google option you can see the all services like that so after clicking all services you can see the devices and sharing option click on this and here click on devices and now click on the saved devices now here already sony wc500 has been saved because we already paired so here mainly you need to just ensure whether this automatically saved devices this option is enabled or not if it is disabled means enable this option and also ensure which mail id you are actually given here and after that just go to the manual pairing mode in that sony wc500 earbuds to enter the manual pairing mode it's very simple you need to just press and hold on both the earbuds for five to six seconds one two three four five six you can able to get the blue light blinks here so like this now the earbuds enter to the manual pairing mode again so now this time you can definitely get this google fosspair window once you ensured all these options are enabled so after that again click on the connect so now you can easily able to connect so with the google fosspair so with the help of the google fosspair so once you go to this settings area after clicking on sony wfc 500 now here you can able to see the earbuds battery percentage and also here is the option find device option and you can directly go to the sony headphones application by by clicking on this option this earbud supported with the sony headphones application you can connect the earbuds and you can uh, do all other features i already posted a video regarding that you can check out that after doing all this reset process also you not able to hear the audio in both left and right ear but each other means then if you are using android phone means just to go to the settings in the android smartphone in the settings you need to search for the accessibility so in the search bar type a double c now here is the option accessibility click on this now here click on this uh, hearing tab now here just to turn off the mono audio and as well as this audio balance this slider should be at the center if it is towards the left or towards the right means then you can only able to hear the audio in the left or right earbuds only you might face only in the left ear but the volume is high and the right ear but the volume is less so if you face like that issue means then you need to ensure this setting option well overall that's it on this video guys now using these methods you can easily reset the sony wc 500 earbuds and using the some of the methods if any connection related issue means you can able to solve on the sony wf c500 tws here but well now that's it on this video guys and hopefully if you like this video hit the like button and if you are new to this channel subscribe to our channel below and thanks for watching this video guys